Hey everybody, in this review we're going to be looking at the Ryobi 40 volt log splitter. It's model number RY40740. It's the world's first battery powered kinetic log splitter. In this tool review we're going to discuss the pros and the cons of the log splitter and because uh, we tested it out extensively. But overall, this tool is an outstanding option for homeowners. Compact, portable, requires far less maintenance than traditional log splitters. Additionally, it splits wood faster than a hydraulic log splitter and it's more productive. Before I get into the review, let's talk quickly about some of the specs. It's, it's uh, got a splitting force of 12 tons, two second cycle time. It's got a maximum log diameter of 10 inches, length 20 inches, weighs 177 pounds, and has a five year limited warranty. So how does it work? Did we like it? Well, electric log splitters, they've been commercially available for decades. Farmers and mad scientists and mechanics have been building them in their barns for even longer. However, the 40 volt HP splitter, it's the first machine to feature a dedicated battery powered system. Furthermore, the 40 volt HP system utilizes Ryobi's vastly popular 40 volt lithium ion batteries and power plant and as well as the um, line of tools that you can power off of that. Yet, a robust battery system alone wouldn't be enough to power a traditional style log splitter. Traditional splitters, they rely on hydraulic fluid to push, basically push a ram forward through a cylinder and then split the piece of wood. This is a slower process and it requires a great deal of power and very strong pump to accomplish. Ryobi took a completely different approach. The 40 volt HP splitter, it features a flywheel system that utilizes kinetic energy to, to shoot a steel ram forward. The ram travels with such speed and velocity that it will split a piece of wood quickly and it looks awesome while doing it. As the ram extends, it stretches out a coil spring that's attached to basically the bottom portion of it. Once the ram is fully extended or extends fully, these springs automatically retract it backward and a typical, for a typical hydraulic log splitter, they'll have a total cycle time of the ram that's usually over maybe 10 seconds. In contrast, the Ryobi has a two second cycle time. The kinetic system was the perfect platform that is energy efficient enough to be battery powered. The flywheel assembly and the ram sit on top of a, a steel box beam and the ram runs across the top of the beam on roller guides. At the end of the beam is a vertical wedge which is, the, which is stationary. There are two side rails on the side of the beam that extend down um, and form handles to transport the machine, which is nice. These rails also act as a cradle for the log to sit in. The kinetic log splitters, they're not new, right? It's not a new concept. They've been long been praised for having a fast cycle time, for being lighter, more portable, and being durable and reliable. The Ryobi 40 volt HP builds on that image, or lineage I should say, with the added convenience of battery power. Let's talk a little bit about the splitter controls. So very simple controls. It's easy to operate. Uh, oversized power button is located at the top of the machine's housing. Now, due to the speed of the machine and the fast cycle time, it's imperative. You got to keep your hands off the wood and away when it's, when it's going to be split. A two second cycle time does not allow much room for error. So to keep all 10 fingers attached to your hands, Ryobi included a safety bypass lever in addition to the split control lever. The operator must have their hand on each of these levers to activate the splitter. And that's a nice redundant layer of safety. I think it's a, it kind of keeps you busy with those hands and keeps them away from the danger zone. The operator must also position themselves at the rear of the machine to properly operate these controls. Really, really, really well thought out system to enhance user operator safety. Kudos to you, Ryobi. Occasionally, kinetic log splitters, they will, uh, like the Ryobi, they'll stall out, right? So, usually with a dense or knotty piece of wood, it's gonna cause the ram to bounce off the face of the wood. And, and usually when that happens, the ram knocks itself out of sync. This is to preserve the drive assembly. To reset this, two reset buttons must be pressed simultaneously on top of the machine. This gets everything lined up and ready to work again. 
Now, we, I mentioned splitting capability earlier on quickly. Um, Ryobi there. basically rates the 40 volt HP splitter for wood with a maximum width of 10 inches and maximum length of 20 inches, 10 by 20. The 10 inch diameter rating is ideally suited for smaller trees and logs to make fireplace and fire pit sized pieces. We found the Ryobi splitter to excel when working with these pieces. Perfect. However, we also wanted to push it to its limits, right? We wanted to test this. We often receive deliveries of tree service wood from an arborist friend of ours. So these loads often contain oversized pieces from takedown work. During the Ryobi testing period, we worked with large 28 diameter ash logs. We would not expect the Ryobi to split a piece this large. We, we didn't, but it was, it was. It was able to quarter the rounds into manageable sized pieces. I was surprised. Ryobi is fully capable of splitting 10, more than 10 inches. However, it often needs more than one hit to do it. So think of this, think of, you know, you got a boxer and you know, you got a one, two punch combo where the first punch stuns the opponent, second punch is a knockout punch. You just need to do that. Sometimes you need to do that sometimes with your, uh, your concrete nailer too. When the nail doesn't set, you hit it again with another charge and set the nail. We also use the Ryobi in a variety of wood species, we, including uh, maple, oak, and hickory. The machine maintained its fast cycle times and power regardless of the species. We would strongly recommend reading the wood, right? Read your piece of wood that you're gonna be split. What I mean by that is examine that grain structure, look for knots, uh, rotate the wood, or work it in such a way that, you know, work your way around the knots and. That way the splitter is less likely to stall and the operator will be able to split more efficiently with fewer interruptions. I'd like to move on to runtime. The Ryobi splitter is available as a kit with a single 4.0 amp hour battery and charger. During testing, we used a four amp hour battery as well as a six amp hour battery um, that Ryobi sent us. We, with fully charged batteries, fully charged six amp hour battery, we got 46 minutes of splitting. We staged a large pile of rounds for this and continuously just fed the machine with minimal downtime. The performance of this machine on a single battery charge was impressive. With a two second cycle time, we hustled to keep up with the Ryobi as we fed it. Overall, we filled the bed of Wes's Polaris Ranger to the point that it was overflowing with wood. The four amp hour battery was able to split an overflowing 10 yard wheelbarrow on a single charge. Um, look, based on this, the four amp hour battery would be more than enough power to keep a fire pit fed for a weekend or periodically splitting after work or something in the fall during you know heating season or something. We use the 40 volt dual port charger with both batteries and this charger basically allowed one battery completely recharge during the time it took to deplete the other because it charges that fast. This combo of batteries with the rapid charger, it would allow you a full day of splitting with minimal downtime. So that's how I would go after this. Um, mobility and portability, compact design. It's easy to transport the front legs. They act as handles and there's a uh, pretty solid basic wheels on the rear of the machine that allow the splitter to be wheeled around kind of like a wheelbarrow. The machine uh, can also be stored upright for storage, which makes it a little smaller real estate footprint. Uh, the splitter weighed a total of 177 pounds and two people can easily lift this up into a pickup truck bed for transport, but there is no way to tow it. There's no towing option for the splitter. Uh, okay, moving on to room for improvement. Unfortunately, that high center of gravity of the splitter makes it prone to tipping when you're rolling it around. The small plastic wheels are kind of unstable on rough conditions and grass, and the splitter fell over more than one occasion when we were moving it to different splitting areas. Another downfall uh, of the compact design is the working height. The beam of the splitter is less than a foot off the ground, which is convenient for lifting heavy pieces into the machine, but it forces you to crouch down or work on your knees for most of the work. Using the machine for extended periods of time, it's going to fatigue your back or your legs. So to alleviate this, we suggest maybe positioning the splitter on a platform or a cart. Uh, Wes plans to mill a large log to kind of in half to make a pedestal for his splitter. And uh, his back is already thanking him, I'm sure of that. Our overall impression, a battery powered log splitter is not a tool that we saw coming, but we're glad it's here. Ryobi 
40 volt kinetic log splitter is an outstanding option for homeowners and hobbyists who are looking for a portable and easy to use machine without the hassle of gas, gas powered engine, maintenance, oil, spark plugs, bulky hydraulic systems. More importantly, it's fun to use. The compact size, it makes it easy to store, move around, all with less maintenance and no fumes. The only maintenance I would suggest is you keep, keep the box beam clear of built up debris and maybe spraying some lubricant on the ram rollers. That's about it. As far uh, as less resistance on these parts, it's gonna, you know, it'll expand the lifespan. It's a well-suited tool for homeowners who need to split smaller quantities of firewood, fire pits, fireplaces, wood stoves, or even for cooking. It makes a great travel companion for a remote campsite or a cabin perfect to process firewood up there. Additionally, I would suggest anyone who receives wood for deliveries and for heating and you need to resplit. this is a great little splitter. Um, oftentimes you've got to split things down into small pieces to get the fireplaces into stoves. There's another benefit to this tool that I, I, we just we thought about as we we're doing the review is you can operate this tool in your garage or basement to resplit with no hazard of fumes or excessive engine noise. That's a win. As far as price and availability, the Ryobi battery powered log splitter is currently available at Home Depot. Um, the kit is available um, splitter, charger, and one four amp hour battery for just under a thousand bucks, $9.99 at the time of this video. Bear tool um, is like $8.99, it's a hundred bucks. Overall, I think it's a good value and a very versatile machine. Ryobi is faster and more rugged than any other commercially available electric homeowner machine I've seen. The Kinetic system offers power and performance above almost anything else on the market. Combine that with a 40 volt HP battery system, that's just a great opportunity for a variety of tools and different uses, you know, OPE stuff. We recommend this option to anyone who doesn't want to deal with a gas splitter. It's just a win that way. And like I said, it's faster and more, potentially more productive than a hydraulic splitter for the same price. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We had a ball doing it. We had no expectations of this coming out on the market and we were really curious when we saw it. Um, so we had fun testing this. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, love hearing from you guys. And please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell right there um, so you don't miss any future content. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you at the next video. Take care.